Here are examples of the three ratios calculated for two different triangles. We begin with angle A. The sine of angle A is the opposite side, 60, over the hypotenuse, 68. 60 divided by 68 is 0 0.8824. In here we'll be rounding off to four decimal places. So the sine of angle A is 0 0.8824. Next, the cosine. To do the cosine of angle A, we have to select the adjacent side. The adjacent side of angle A is 32. So the cosine is 32 over the hypotenuse, 68, or 0 0.4706. Next, for the tangent of angle A, we select the opposite over the adjacent. So 60 over 32 will give you the tangent which is 1.8750. Notice here that sometimes the tangent could be a value greater than 1, while the sine and cosine would always be less than 1, or a decimal. This is because the denominator of the ratio for sine and cosine is always the hypotenuse, which is the largest side of a right triangle. In the case of the tangent, the ratio does not involve the hypotenuse, and in angles greater than 45 degrees, the opposite side, which is the numerator of the tangent, is greater than the adjacent side, making the tangent for angles greater than 45 degrees a value greater than 1. From this, we realize that the tangent of 45 degrees must be 1, because all 45-45-90 triangles have equal legs, making both numerator and denominator the same value. And the quotient is, of course, 1. OK, now let's do angle B. Remember what I said before. The sine and cosine of the component of an angle are reversed, so that the sine of angle B is the cosine of angle A, and the cosine of angle B is the sine of angle A. Let's check this out. The sine of angle B is 32, the opposite, over 68, for the hypotenuse, which is the 0 0.4706 value we had before for the cosine of angle A. See? And of course, the cosine of angle B is 60 over 68, which is the sine of angle A, or 0 0.8824. Now to the tangent of angle B. The tangent of angle B is the reciprocal of the tangent of angle A. So if the tangent of angle A was 60 over 32, then the tangent of angle B is 32 over 60, or 0 0.5333. For the second triangle, we do the same. The sine of angle C is 8 over 10, opposite over hypotenuse, or 0 0.8. And the cosine 6 over 10, adjacent over hypotenuse, or 0 0.6. The tangent of angle C is 8 over 6, or 1.3333, making angle C greater than 45 degrees. For angle D, we'll reverse the values so the sine of angle D is 0 0.6, and the cosine of angle D is 0 0.8. The tangent of angle D is the reciprocal of the tangent of angle C, or 6 over 8, or 0 